Zinc paste bandages by KOB are single-use products that are used in compression therapy for venous diseases and for the treatment of oedema caused by other factors such as lymphedema, post-traumatic oedema, cyclical idiopathic oedema and lipoedema. Zinc paste bandages are indicated for an ankle brachial pressure index ABPI of 0.8 to 1.3. Zinc paste bandages can also be used as a support and relief dressing for injuries of the musculoskeletal system. Depending on the status of the wound and the application period for the wound dressing in use, zinc paste bandages can remain on the leg for up to seven days. In addition to various sizes, the zinc paste product portfolio of KOB also includes rigid and elastic versions. KOB also offers bi-elastic zinc paste bandages for greater comfort. Zinc paste bandages must be applied to intact skin only. Therefore, first treat wounds with a suitable wound dressing. Protect the skin by applying a tubular bandage that is two to five times the length of the lower leg over the leg and up to the popliteal fossa. Immediately after opening the package, apply the moist bandage to the metatarsophalangeal joints and wrap it around the lateral malleolus and inside of the heel. Ensure that the patient's foot is placed at an angle of 90 degree to the lower leg. Moving from the medial malleolus to the instep, flatten the bandage over the anterior portions of the tendon to cover them. Wrap the bandage around the Achilles tendon and the medial portion of the heel. Encircle the heel in a loop and wrap the zinc paste bandage around the middle foot from the outside. Keep the bandage wrinkle-free while wrapping the heel until the bandage covers the heel completely. Then wrap the calf in spiro fashion up to the head of the fibula. The head of the fibula and the tibial tuberosity form the proximal anchor points of the bandage. Create an elliptical anchor proximally and apply the bandage moving distally. Complete the process by wrapping the bandage with increasingly narrower and centered overlaps and gently mold the zinc paste bandage onto the leg. Once you have applied the zinc paste bandage, cover it by gently turning and pulling the tubular bandage back into place in the distal to proximal direction. Be aware that it may be necessary to adjust the application technique to suit the anatomic and pathophysiological characteristics of the patient.